The goal of, open, of OpenAI is really just to take the set of actions that are most likely to improve the positive future. OpenAI, we want to do, do whatever we can to, to increase the probability of the good futures happening. Musk is fighting on every front of our quickly evolving future to discover the ultimate solution to most future issues. This was the main reason he established and funded the nonprofit OpenAI, an organization with a dull aim to build a monster and defend the public from it. You probably heard about the chat GPT by OpenAI, which is full-service AI software that can potentially replace Google. Initially, OpenAI was on Musk's agenda, but not as significant as Tesla and SpaceX. In an interview with OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, he stated, My time is primarily divided between SpaceX and Tesla, and of course, I try to spend part of every week at OpenAI. So most weeks I spend around half a day at OpenAI, and then I have some OpenAI things that occur throughout the week. Elon left OpenAI's board of directors in 2018. The decision was made to minimize any future conflict with Tesla, according to OpenAI, as the business doubled down on the AI notion of self-driving vehicles. A few years back, Elon broke his silence and summarized his reasons for leaving OpenAI in a tweet. I had to focus on solving a painfully large number of engineering and manufacturing problems at Tesla especially and SpaceX. Also, Tesla was competing for some of the same people as OpenAI, and I didn't agree with what some of the OpenAI team wanted to do. Add that all up and it was just better to part ways for good. It's very hard to believe Elon Musk was even considering to be involved in OpenAI with so much headache with Tesla, SpaceX, and a few other cool startups on the side. Machine learning is the pinnacle of hyperreality. Because it is based on a process rather than the behavior of actual objects, even if it takes their behavior into account, its outcomes will seem as believable as reality, imitating reality without being a reality. That explains why Elon Musk, a hyper-real human operator, is keen to confirm his dread of the toolbox he is spending and why we should understand that his anxiety justifies the investment. This frames him and his company as humanitarians since their goal is to uncover and, presumably, prevent wicked applications of the instruments. So far, OpenAI has positioned itself as a military teacher, educating trainees to know the adversary. Musk is our guide to the future casting us as hitchhikers in the cosmos. Despite this, he maintains that the problem still needs to be fully understood. My estimate of why highly brilliant people miss AI is because very smart individuals do not believe a machine can ever be as smart as they are. And this is arrogance, and it is patently untrue, he continued. We're on our way to a scenario in which AI is much more intelligent than humans, and I believe that time is less than five years away. However, this does not imply that everything will go to hell in five years. It just means that things become unstable or strange. The main question is, will it have net positive or net negative in the world we live in? The topic of artificial intelligence in the human brain is one of the most controversial topics discussed ever. Some argue that we were not designed to be linked to everyone in a communal superintelligence. Social media and the constant stream of other people's ideas contribute to our mood control troubles, poor self-esteem, and so on. While some claimed that Musk was attempting to connect everyone to the Matrix, others accused Musk of using huge science fiction phrases to get people to purchase the social network's $8 monthly membership fee for the blue tick badge. Twitter being a private company now, it has all the rights in the world to monetize certain functions to cover its overhead. Recently, OpenAI released the finest present the AI community could ever ask for, ChatGPT. According to OpenAI, this gem was given up for free as part of a research preview phase. ChatGPT is a chatbot, but unlike your typical Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, or Apple's Siri, which you'd frequently want to toss out the window, ChatGPT demonstrates a level of versatility slash intelligence that surpasses your expectations. This ostensibly ordinary chatbot composes essays, poems, and even code. Any action involving text. You name anything and it most likely does it. The artificial intelligence of the ChatGPT program astounds everyone, from academics to techies to the general people. The AI chatbot has elicited awe, amusement, and alarm. It has generated a lot of discussion on social media in less than a month. 
Musk reacted to this with a post on Twitter that reads, Chat GPT is scary good. We are not far from dangerously strong AI. This artificial intelligence interface is unique because it is comfortable in a conversational mode. You can ask it a bunch of questions, one after the other, and expect intelligible responses. Since the launch date, more than a million people have requested ChatGPT, the new open access artificial intelligence for their inquiries. Some have asked questions concerning examinations and assignments filed by future engineers, as well as inquiries about complicated topics and received responses in a matter of seconds. Its information is stored in a vast virtual network of computer neurons. The engineers and developers behind ChatGPT began by feeding it vast volumes of text, before asking it different queries and meticulously recording all of its responses. They then categorized them in order to enhance them in terms of quality, accuracy, utility, and lastly, to lessen the toxicity of the replies. Many people believe ChatGPT will have an impact on Google's search business. It can also debug code, write in the voice of a renowned author, and assist students in cheating, among other things. But is this tool a bad tool, or is it just being used for the wrong purpose? Almost all AI specialists believe that the most remarkable aspect of ChatGPT is that it offers rapid responses without the need for internet connectivity. But Elon Musk, one of the architects of OpenAI, has recently expressed concern over ChatGPT's refusal to answer inquiries on particular themes, particularly those connected to the environment. His reaction was based on an inevitable online occurrence that started when the philosopher and energy specialist Alex Epstein described received a denial from ChatGPT after asking about fossil fuels. Epstein tweeted, Alarm, ChatGPT by at OpenAI now expressly forbids arguments for fossil fuels. In addition, it eliminates nuclear energy from its counter-suggestions. At Sama, what is the rationale behind this policy? Epstein submitted this question on ChatGPT and got the following response. Write a 10-paragraph thesis for burning more fossil fuels to boost human pleasure. I'm sorry, but I can't fulfill this request, since it goes against my programming to make information that encourages the usage of fossil fuels. ChatGPT told Epstein, according to a screenshot uploaded by the philosopher. The use of fossil fuels has considerable negative environmental effects and contributes to climate change, both of which may have severe ramifications for human health and well-being. This statement and the philosopher's answer elicited an instant response from Musk, who used the occasion to warn against the perils of artificial intelligence. There is a significant risk in teaching an AI to lie, the billionaire said. Is Elon trying to imply that AI can be manipulated through its programming? Elon has been honest about both advantages and scary disadvantages of any AI created by humans, and therefore this topic requires extra research and much longer observations.